All right, everybody, welcome back. It's Big Al. Uh, got a challenge lock and device called Golden Bride by uh, K1 Locks. And uh, I did just now get it open uh, by chance, by luck. I don't know, but I got to tell you, man, this thing is a freaking beast. <laughs> I was thinking that uh, since it's got a fairly wide open keyway, you know, where, I mean, you can get a pretty thick pick in there. So I was thinking, okay, this, this, you know, I got a good shot at that sucker, and uh, I'm going to lock it back up. And uh, there's the key, by the way. Pretty wicked. But since it was so wide open, I thought, you know, it, and it is. You get it you get a, a little easier if you got a wide open keyway. It, it helps a little, but uh, I had no idea it was going to be as horrific as it is. But I guess looking at the key, yeah. So let's see if we can't do it while the camera's on. We all know how that goes. I am going to go ahead and, I always forget this, I'm going to put a timer on. Okay, and I'll be using, again, probably two or three different Sparrows picks. So, let's get at it. Bada boom, bada bing. Alright. Start timer, just for the heck of it. Alright, start out with this, uh, I don't know what it's called, banana, I don't know, it's by Sparrows though. Alright, get a little feel in there. See if I can get something going here. Let me try this other uh, Sparrows like short hook I guess it might be. Yeah, this thing really, it really stuck it to me, man. Got a slight turn, I think, off of five. Not really a false set, just a, like a one pin. try this uh, I'm gonna use this funky hook by sparrows it's really a tricky tricky lock man There we go. Now I got a false set going for sure. That I will call a false set. But when I got this a little while ago, it really stuck me. Because a couple of the pins, which hopefully you'll be able to see, uh, you get counter rotation off of more than one. that and it doesn't really let you know which one's the right one Maybe not. Back into the false set. 
So at least I didn't lose it. Got to find where that find where that trap is. I'm going to guess it's all the way in the back. So we're going to go that false set though. Yep. There we go. Yeah. See what I mean? Seriously, seriously tricky. Stop the timer. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, it, it makes you just kind of run in circles. It's one of those tricky suckers. Alright, let's get it out because it's just stuck on the vise. You can see it's very much open. Fair enough, it is pretty sticky. I think it's just that funky back on it, but we're open. Alright, zoom out a little bit here. Wide angle. Bada boom, bada bang. Alright. I'll tell you, it's been a few days uh, since I picked the lock. I've been making a uh, been working on challenge locks, been uh, cleaning up my area over here. I redid the uh, the backsplash, if you notice that. Um, let me see where we at. We good right here? We're good. All right, so we got a funky back on this thing. We do have a key, so I can lock it back up. Fair enough. All right, so we got a funky. All right, not so hard. All right, and I said we got a key somewhere. Here we go. Little sergeant. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need a. I'll see if one fits, anyways. It's pretty darn tight. But as tricky as that thing was. All right. Nice. Six pins. Oh yeah, I can see some evilness already. <laughs> you see that third pin and the fifth? Oh yeah, buddy. Look at him. And the second. <laughs> oh man, oh man. No wonder. And they all needed picking, so. Alright, let's get them laid out here. Come out. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, buddy. My goodness. Somebody got playful with the Dremel. <laughs> Alright, get my specs on so I can see as good as the camera. Uh, Alright, the core. We've got undercut and one, three, five, and six, threading and two, and four. camera's gonna pick that up nice and good all right bada boom bada bang going upstairs all right where we at right here uh, it almost looks like a factory spool could be wrong looks factory Serrated, number two. 
Three is a long spool. Well, it's like a cone. It almost looks like a uh, tower. Uh, four is a. Come on, baby. Stand back up. Ah. Serrated. Uh, no wonder. It's a dilapidated spring. And some kind of spool. side for number six. It is a super long spool. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. That's a beast of a freaking challenge lock. Brought to us by K1 Locks. Be the lock. I like his little model thing there. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm looking upstairs and I am seeing, feeling nothing. I'm thinking there's no mods in there. I don't feel any. And I don't see any. So I'm going to say no mods to the Bible. Alright. Bada boom, bada bang. Got a lock picked. Yahoo. <sighs> All right. Again, that was uh, Golden Bride by K1 Locks. Let me bring the camera way down so we can look at these pins real flat. All right. Let's take a look. Bring the light over. Here we go. Uh, we got this funny looking kind of combed uh, spoolie key pin in one and then another. Uh, uh, it's even reduced on the top, a sharp top on number two. Uh, three, spooled key pin, serrated key pin in four, spooled in number five and six. And this one's really thin and sharp right here in number five, by the way. And then drivers, this looks like a, uh, a regular uh, spool. Uh, what do you call them? A factory spool, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe. It does look like it. But that's okay. Uh, serrated to number two this cool cone shape it comes down like a cone into a sharp cap and then a uh, double serrated in four another one it's coned like that but shorter uh, like a cone shaped spool and then this one is uh, a long spool and all the springs let's see they all look steel except that one I don't know. I'm not positive. Okay, awesome. There it is. Uh, and I want to share something with y'all real quick too, since uh, we're not in some crazy time yet. Uh, I got something awesome in the mail today. Uh, first of all, that's the. Uh, I told you I was redoing the uh, backsplash, because I had them written on the other side. So I actually got a uh, little printer deal to make those with. I think it looks better. Pretty much just uh, everybody's names that kind of, uh, you know, support my channel and yada yada. I think it's awesome. Show a little bit of love. Uh, but I got this in the mail today, y'all. It's a, uh, it's a uh, chub. And it was sent to me by Southampton, uh, my long distance buddy, at Southampton Lockpicking Club. I know y'all probably, he, he's uh, always on giving us, um, you know, awesome positive feedback and all, and 
he uh, seen that deal where I was asking people to send me a uh, padlock, just any old padlock, so I can hang it up in my collection. I want to get a padlock from, hopefully from, you know, each one of the members in our community. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter what cat, what padlock, just a padlock. And he already has his uh, Southampton Lock Picking Club on there. And uh, I just think it's awesome, man. But he sent me a padlock, and it's not only just a padlock. I mean, this thing's freaking cool, man. It's a. Uh, I don't have. I don't think I could pick anything like this yet. But that's what it looks like. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking cool. But anyways, yeah, man, I got it in the mail today and I was just freaking stoked because he did say he was going to send me one. And uh, obviously it did take a while to get here into the States, but I just want to say thank you so much. And uh, I mean, it's just so cool, right? Badass. Anyways, okay, that's what we got, guys. Uh, Big Al signing off.